Halloween video. It is the Skull Candy Makeup Look. I wanted to do this look because I've never done one and it is pretty common but it's really nice um, doing the Skull Candy look because you can basically make it whatever you want, use whatever colors you want, do whatever designs you want and for this year I'm going to be doing a lot of DIY makeup tutorials for Halloween. Um, that way, I mean, all you have to do is basically have the face makeup paint. And if you guys have not seen yet, I did put up my Halloween haul video. So everything that you need in any of the videos I'm going to be using is in that haul. So it was all really inexpensive. I got it all at Walmart. And then actually I just got these at the dollar store. It was like I actually have two more so it came in three four five flowers for a dollar that you can use for this look and then the rest is just paint and then for like the lips and the glitter and stuff you can kind of just make it what you want or use what you already have I want to do a lot of on budget ones because like I said in my haul I do not like to spend a lot of money on something I'm gonna be wearing for one day who wants to at least I don't want to so these types of looks that I'm gonna be showing you guys are all really easy and affordable so so if you guys want to see how I got this gold candy look, please keep Alright, so first things first, I'm going to just take this white makeup cream and I'm going to put this all over my face. This, my, this makeup cream, for some reason, was really hard to like blend out and make look smooth. So you're just going to keep seeing me kind of like trying to smooth it out. Um, it would have been nice if I had some type of white powder to go over it just to smooth it out. But hey, you guys can do this and then just keep working with it until it's your desired look. Once I have the white blended out, I'm going to start by drawing a line right underneath my cheekbones and then blending that out. Just because for this skull look, I kind of want it to be kind of like a glam type of skull look and what's best than contouring. So um, I'm going to just use that and keep blending it out until, you know, it's where I want it to be. And then I'm going to take a little bit and put it around my temple and my forehead. I'm just basically contouring my face with the black. And then with the white, I'm just going to extend that down to my neck and kind of um, where my collarbones are. Once that's done, I'm going to be using this eyeliner. This was just in the Halloween section at Walmart, and I'm going to start just making all of um, basically the creations on my face with the skull look. What's really nice is you can do whatever you want. You can be super, super creative and do crazy different things. Um, I just kind of kept it simple. Just I wanted it to be something quick and easy for you guys, so I'm just going to extend the eyeliner down my cheekbone and kind of just do some swirls here and there, and then you know, do like the slashes in the cheek as well as the lips. But um, basically here is where it's a free for all so you can do whatever you want um, on the face. So now it's time to color in the eyes. I'm just going to take that same black cream paint and I'm just going to start working around the eyes and I'm going to put it, you know, in a circular motion to kind of do the skull look. And then I'm going to put the little, um, I'm not even sure what you call them, but the half circles, I guess, around the black circles on the eye. And I just used eyeliner for this. <laughs>
So like I said before, you can do whatever you want for this skull look. I mean, it's really up to you. I just decided to draw a heart in the middle and then on the bottom I'm just going to make kind of like a rose and I'm going to paint that in with a little bit of black just to kind of give it, you know, that depth. And then here I'm just kind of shadowing underneath the lines with a little bit of red just to give it a little bit more depth as well. So I just took the um, Motives Cosmetic Glitter and I just put that all over the eyelid just because I wanted to glamify it a little bit. But um, here, I'm sorry my camera didn't get it that much. I just basically took the black and kind of did where my throat is and then my collarbones just to kind of make it a little bit more skeleton. So I'm going to finish off this look with some lashes, um, again just to make it a little bit more glamified, and then some dark eyeliner on the inside. It looks weird when your whole eye is black but not your waterline, so I just decided to color that in. And then here I'm just taking one of the NYX liquid liner, I believe it is, and it's just um, glitter silver glitter that I'm just putting all around you know the little half circles and on the lines and everything just because like I said this look you can be so creative with and do so many different things so I just decided to do that and then I actually had some red crystals that are actually from like a nail kit that I just decided to do in every other circle one I wish I would have gotten bigger ones for this look but hey just work with whatever you got and this look is going to come out amazing so lastly for this look, I just went to Dollar Tree and got this bouquet of red flowers and I just cut them off of the stems and then bobby pinned them into my hair. You can do a whole circle around your face if you want to, but I just wanted to do the side of it. But anyways, that's the completed look guys. I hope you stay tuned for more Halloween videos of mine. Make sure you to subscribe so you can see those. Love you guys. Bye.